Damn, some small ass elevator. I know. Oh. Oh. That's how you look when you get hit by a turtle shell and uh, Super Smash Bros. And it should be like. Doo -doo, doo -doo. matter probably for you but a lot of people they want to see you know visually what has been going on so the idea is that you get a scan and then later on you get another one and you can place your scan there the scan of today there and compare them so you would tap on, on your abs and see like okay am I more tone you can tap on your biceps have comparison you know like girth or profile you can see the different profile mm. because you have like a full 3d really body nice. scan so we're actually going to launch these uh, publicly next week so okay. uh, Wednesday 10 and uh, it's going to be 499 full price but it's going to be a reservation because we're not going to ship until the beginning of next year so it's going to be $99 front and then 400 uh, when it ships okay. in 2018 nice. yeah uh, probably we should Make you hop on. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, check it out. Look how fat I am. Going over this, first off, I was telling Jeff how this reminds me of like how cool it would be to have all these stats and stuff and put yourself in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the main purpose of this is really to show how your body is changing, you know, not just from a uh, which numbers are good, you know, when you when you look at your weight and all, but from visualization from let's say three months from now, you can go back to day one when you started using it and see your progress, you know, from day one or week one to week two. This is so so with you get measurements fully from you know your arms to chest. Yeah. Um, uh, exactly. Waist. So based on the volume, they are predictive. Uh, um, models that allow you to calculate localized body fat and you know body fat is actually all over your body you cannot really target exactly where you want to lose body fat but with muscles that you can do because you can do exercise that are going to target specific muscles so we have also metrics where you can track localized mu muscle groups mm -hmm. and uh, so localized body fat localized muscle group and I mean, man, you're jacked. We have to get you in a in a video game. And that's definitely <laughs> something that we want to do in the future. Because you see, this looks just like you. I mean, I want to play with you in one of these. You know, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> the new Mortal Kombat, yeah. In this fighting game, man. Like it's like. <laughs> and basically, what it does it computes between the two scan and compute a heat map where it's going to show exactly where you have been gaining and losing volume with mm. color. So. Yellow so and based red. Based off of day one. Exactly. Want to keep that data, yep. and then you continue. On exactly. So your yep. mass has grown here, okay. lost here, yep. and okay. So you nice. compare from like ten days ago, a month ago, six months ago, and and see exactly what has been changing. Nice. And yeah. Thanks That's for awesome. coming, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Man. Awesome, man. We get, we're launching actually uh, May 10, so and it's going to be a reservation. So uh, the full price is 4.99 now. It's only if you reserve. The reservation is 99 and you will have to pay the remainder of the 400 when it ship in 2018. Check it out today. Uh, it's kind of a new type of squat for me. Uh, for those who have stayed on my Instagram, last earlier this week I tried low bar squats for 600 for three reps. Not full depth 600 uh, three reps, but it was my first time trying low bar. And with that, you know, coming from some powerlifters that kind of messaged me after I made that post, it's easy to not hit hit depth with low bar squats just because of the hinge in the hips that you have and you feel like that whole time I was looking at myself I felt like I was low 
but from the backside, it didn't seem so. So today we're gonna try that again, some low bar squats. I definitely felt great, powerful. The weight, I mean, it felt light, even though, as you saw, I didn't hit the, the depth in the Instagram video. But, you know, I comfortably got under 600 pounds, and I didn't even plan on doing two more extra reps after the first one. I was like, fuck, this shit feels so light, I'm about to knock out two more. So we're gonna work on that today. I'm gonna work up to 600, probably a little bit over. I'm probably not gonna try to do the 600 for reps. I'll try to go for more of a max, like 610, 620, um, and we'll just go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of the video. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Shape Scale for those who are want, want to take their fitness serious. Um, it's a you know more of that. It's, it's the next step in the fitness industry, you know. And, um, and I'm I'm very interested in it. I'm going to have one for myself. Um, and then I appreciate those guys for getting me in contact, you know, with them and being a, a part of that and you know possibly the growth of the company. So let's get to it. So. You know, I have the Reebok Legacies, which are my lifting shoes, but for ankle mobility, which is like my struggle, uh, just because I have tight calves, shins, a good thing to do to loosen that up is stand, put your hands on the wall, stand to a spot where you want to keep your feet planted, keep your heels planted, and you want to try to drive that knee into the wall. And if you can't, if you can't get to the wall, get closer. Do 10 reps each side, three sets. All right, so just to give a little introductory to the low bar squat, normally this is how I squat. Over, going home. That's a high bar squat. Now, we wanna bring from the bar gonna be up here, we wanna bring it down here, right? Sitting around where those lower traps are, you still get some, you gotta, you gotta seriously hold it. I, one thing about this is that it hurts my wrist and my shoulder mobility could be a little bit better to do so, but as you see with the high bar squat, I'm more upright, you know what I'm saying? This one, it's more hingy, so bar right here, Sit back on your hips, and then, boom. You can, see, you can see the difference. It's almost the same movement. You still want to sit back like you're sitting in a chair, but this is more glute dominant. This is more quad dominant right here. So quad dominant, glute dominant. So that's why I felt like I had more power because I'm using more of my glutes and hamstrings rather than my quads because I mean, you know the glutes are it's a powerful muscle. So I felt a lot more comfortable. It's just my shoulders, upper body takes a toll, so I need to warm up my shoulders and stuff real quick. God damn.
605. Wrist is feeling a little groggy. Forgot my wrist wraps again. But we got 605 on the bar right now. Going for one rep. Maybe even two. Maybe even no. But uh let's uh see how this pans out. trash right now it's painful in the wrist for me I felt a little off because when I started to descend uh, my wrist really started to hurt really bad and I started focusing more on that and losing sight of the weight and mentally kind of falling off so um, but got the weight done got the death down and uh, I'm satisfied with today uh, got a little bit more to do just some um, functional type stuff to work on and then we're out so keep watching so one thing I do have is good lower back strength and uh, something that I'm going to add on to this while jumping into the low bar squat is some lower back um, hamstring strengthening, glute strengthening movement and I think a lot of people don't do this enough but we're going to do good mornings, probably like four or five sets of eight reps. I'm starting with 135 right now and it's that same movement and what this is going to do is it's going to help you not bend over too far when doing squats. So we just want to come back, lean. All it is, all it is is a hip, hip hinge movement. That's it. Yo, you can't hit 500 naturally like that. And blah, blah, blah. You have, have to be fake plates. Gotta be, sure. fake, gotta be fake plates. You gotta be on steroids. Y'all don't, don't understand how, what I'm feeling. To you, and a lot of times where I, I make a video and the shit looks like I did the stuff simply and I'm not. It looks like it from the video, but when I'm doing it, it's not like that at all. I don't know why it looks so great on the video, but I feel a lot of times it was worse in real life than it actually was. <laughs> Yo, but matter of fact, somebody was like, oh, he has to be on steroids. He got a bump on his face. Bitch, I'm beautiful. I belong in a proactive commercial. What you talking about? There ain't no bumps on me. There ain't no bumps on me. So, with my wrist um, hurting right now, I'm gonna switch it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a Zercher good morning, right? So we're working upper body strength, bicep strength, and lower body strength. And the same thing, we're just gonna do that Zercher position, Cross bar. Same thing. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'll up the weight. And I'm gonna do like four to five reps. Or three, three to six. I should say three to six. That sounds better. Nah, four to five. Fuck it. I like getting mad too serious about this shit. They got set up for everything.
see three reps. I'm your bitch. We got some pistol squats. We're gonna do four reps each leg for three sets. Just kind of work on some function. Work on some single leg stuff, hip mobility, ankle mobility, and uh, it's, just, it's just good to add in, especially for athletes. Uh, oh. All right, that's the workout routine. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the whole video fully. Hope you watched the beginning, and if you didn't, please watch it. It's very important, and possibly it can be very beneficial for you. Um, also, for those who ask, I train each body part two times a week. Um, I do get enough rest. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do I recover and stuff? And the CNS, well, that all depends on body part, stress levels. I don't really have much stress. I'm a very chill person. Um, so, you know, I work from home. Me, me and Jeff will do everything from home. You know, it's a pretty chill lifestyle. Um, you know, thankfully I had to, to work this, you know, hard to get here. It wasn't always used to be like that, but it is now. Um, and all I do is promote, uh, create content for you guys and promote stuff. So, um, I can get that recovery. I'll probably get more than enough rest, more than enough food, majority of the time. And um, I've really never had that issue. Sometimes I'm kind of demotivated to work out, which is a sign of, uh, like, you know, your CNS levels are lower, and, um, you know, and, but I still work out, and eventually it goes away. So, it's just all about learning how much you can do, and to listen to your body, and basically, that's it. You know, I don't have much, much of those problems, but if you do, you probably have a lot of, a lot of high stress levels outside of working out. And, uh, you know, even though the body goes under stress for me and working out, it releases it as well, mentally. So I'm, I'm, I'm intaking muscular stress and releasing mental stress. So uh, it depends how it plays out. But please like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, much love, A-Clan, and we out. There ain't no bumps on me. There may be bumps on some of you mugs, but there ain't no bumps on me. <laughs>